So my name is Pamela Cosman, and I'm a professor in the Department of Electrical and Computer Engineering at UCSD. I'm also uh, currently the director of the Center for Wireless Communications here, and I'm also the editor-in-chief of the IEEE Journal on Selected Areas in Communications. So those are all my titles at the moment. So the, the IEEE uh, Fellow Award, they, they always ask for some very short phrase um, to say what you're being recognized for. And uh, so in my case, for contributions to image and video compression and wireless communications. And, and, and it's considered um, a, an award that's based on everything that you've done up to that point. And so most of the work that I've done has been on image and video compression algorithms and to some extent I've also done, done work on machine vision, that is uh, automatic interpretation of images and video. And, and then I've also done some, some work on wireless communications of, of looking at uh, image and video compression in the context of a wireless channel where there are going to be um, bit errors and packet losses and the decoder has to be able to recover you know, gracefully from those. So that's sort of been my body of work in the past 10 years. I don't know if I have one particular driving motivation that, that keeps me going. Uh, certainly one of them is that I like, I like doing research with grad students. Um, you know, with sort of their first experience of doing research and, uh, and, and often you start out with, with telling them sort of exactly what they should be doing and then they transition to kind of figuring out on their own and taking ownership of the, the problem and, and going in a new direction. And, and that's very gratifying to, to see somebody sort of become an independent researcher. And that's one of the things that I like about the process. Um, and, and I also like teaching. I mean, I, I just like explaining things to, to people and trying to find the right words uh, or the right example or the right picture to draw, whatever it is. And, and if people don't get it when I say it a certain way, then I find a different way to say it. And then there's a, there's a pleasure in doing that, of finding the right way to get a concept across. So those are, those are some of the things I really like. Uh, when, when I think about the sort of big things that engineers are going to be facing, I, I think that there's um, maybe a, lot of, a lot of people are, are currently excited about bioengineering um, and tending to move away some, from sort of the more traditional, you know, electrical engineering, you know, computer science uh, fields. And, and I, I think that might be a mistake because I think that a lot of... Um, the, there's a, a lot that's going to happen within the, the more traditional fields as well. And, and a lot of these things are going to be at the interface, um, you know, electrical engineering and, and bioengineering. Of, you know, there's, there's many places where they meet and that you can kind of come at it from either direction um, or you may need to have the skills for both. Um, sort of more, more specifically, I, you know, I work on video compression and, and image processing, and, and I think that those are fields that are really going to be, you know, booming. Um, I think that there's going to be cameras all over the place, you know, um, for, for applications that are, you know, say medical things with devices that are inside people and um, things that are for home monitoring, you know, surveillance, uh, security applications, um, manufacturing, uh, you know, agricultural inspection, all kinds of things. I think it's going to be just absolutely pervasive in, in, in the world around us of, of cameras looking at everything and interpreting everything and, um, and you know, transmitting things all over the place. So it's, I, I think that's, it, it's going to be huge. As far as advice for uh, students who, high school students who are interested in engineering, I would say it's really important to do well in math and um, everything is built so hierarchically on top of you know, the math foundation that as, as a high school student you really need to know, you know to, to be very solid on that um, or you're going to have a harder, very hard time later on. Um, but um, it's often hard to tell whether or not engineering is something that's for you because you don't, as a freshman, take a lot of, of actual engineering classes. You're mostly just doing, say, your basic math and physics. 
and and so it takes a while to get into it and figure out if you if you like it. I think it's it would be helpful to meet some working engineers and talk to them and and find out um, what people do all day long in their jobs and to talk to different kinds of engineers because there's even within just electrical engineering there's enormously different things that people can be doing and certainly when you look at other kinds of engineers mechanical or civil or whatever I mean just the the spectrum is, is enormous and I think a lot of people don't realize how how big it is when they think of, of engineering as if that's sort of one you know unified thing that everyone you know is doing similar jobs it's not at all like that I, I think for most people there's an enormous disconnect between what they think an electrical engineer does and what electrical engineers really do so most people think that I'm an electrician and if I'm just at a party and someone asks me what I do and I and I say I'm an electrical engineer um, they they'll, they'll say oh maybe you can help fix the wiring in my house or or they'll say my toaster stopped working <laughs> do I have to just buy a new one or is there something I can do about it so I, I get that kind of thing all the time that I don't think people, most people realize, you know, that an electrician and electrical engineer are two different things. And, and then even when you, when you start telling them about what electrical engineers do, um, that, you know, we design communication systems, you know, satellite communications, cell phones, whatever. We design, you know, computer systems, like the hardware of, of what's in a computer and, and you know, so on. I, people are very surprised. They, they didn't realize that, that you know, that's, that's what electrical engineers do.